Hi, this is JB from Not the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another Lord of the Rings the card game playthrough. And this time we are playing the Dark of Mirkwood uh, scenario box and uh, its first scenario, the Oath. Uh, the box has two scenarios and uh, they can be added to the core box uh, campaign uh, as two additional scenarios for that campaign. So it make up the uh, five uh, scenario long campaign or they could be played as a mini campaign uh, after one another so a mini campaign of two scenarios but we are playing on standalone mode and I am using the same deck as before uh, in my playthroughs of the core box scenarios so we have a mix of uh, leadership lore and spirits in the deck and uh, I won't go into detail on the decklist, but I'll add the decklist into the video description if you're interested in seeing uh, what kind of deck I'm using. Uh, the deck only uses uh, cards that come in the revised core box, so you can build the deck with those cards. And uh, the scenario uh, is uh, an interesting one. You are basically uh, finding a village that has been ravaged by goblins and you are sent on a quest to rescue the villagers that were captured by the goblins. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to start. So I'll go through the setup first. So uh, we have uh, after the raid quests here and we just read the story text so marauding goblins have raided a woodman village on the ca on the eaves of Mirkwood forest the goblins killed the guards and took many of the villagers captive those left behind beg you to rescue their love set up search the encounter deck for one copy of the eaves of Mirkwood and goblin troop Add the eaves of Mirkwood to the staging area and set the Goblin Troop aside out of play to shuffle the encounter deck. So we have already done that. And then we have more story text. So you swear an oath to the survivors that you will rescue the captured woodsmen and bring justice to the goblins who attacked them. Then you enter Mirkwood Forest to find their trail. And we have to get nine progress tokens onto this first quest so let's get started and we have the eaves of Mirkwood in play uh, while the eaves of Mirkwood is active location counter cards effects cannot be cancelled so we really want to get that out of the uh, uh, travel area fast and then we have the goblin troop so this is the one of the main villains of the uh, encounter deck so it's a pretty beefy enemy 6 health and a decent amount of defense, so we need, really need to have mustered some attack power to destroy this enemy. And we'll figure out that when we get there. So it's set out of play at the start. Uh, we start at 27 threats on the dial. Or, yeah, it, I think it's threat. <laughs> Again, I'm playing uh, multiple LCGs so that terms switch a bit. Uh, one nice thing about uh, um, the Dark of Mirkwood box is that you get these handy player car aid cards that have the uh, round sequence in them. So I'll have them here just for me as a reminder. Uh, they might not be visible in the camera or they might have some glare or something but they're just for me to remember the steps better. Uh, we have shuffled the deck so let's draw our opening hand. I already did a test game of this and it took a long time to beat this scenario, but it is doable with this deck. So let's see how this goes. So uh, we have two Gandalfs, Miner of the Iron Hills, uh, Lorien's Wealth, Protector of Lorien's Self Preservation. I'm not feeling this hand, so I'm just shuffling and mulliganing the whole hand and drawing a new one. 
course Gandalf would be nice to get, but uh, I think Gandalf in this scenario is a later scenario card. So we don't need him right at the start. We want to build up our attachments and get some uh, uh, decent allies into play fast. We'll see how this goes. This might be a short one if we just uh, don't get the cards we need. Or a long one if we get them and get the build and start progressing. Okay, so we get the Son of Arnor, the Galadriel, Galadrim's greeting. Lord of Gondor is a good one at the start. Uh, Protector of Lorien is a good one at the start. Uh, Self-preservation and another Galadriel's uh, greet, Galadrim's greeting. So I'll try to keep my cards somewhere here so I will be using this playmat as the uh, player area so allies will come here and the heroes with the attachments there this will be the engagement area and the staging area is over there so let's see how this goes so first up we uh, start the round by adding resources then uh, we draw a card so Celebrian Stone, mm. right at the start, uh, we are not, well, we, we will play the Protector of Lorien to Beravor and not anything else. We will play more next turn. Then, um, I think I'm uh, going to quest with uh, Eowyn. And Theodred. So Theodred will add one here. So that will uh, make us able to play Steward next turn and play the Celebrian Stone with the Steward resources. We'll see. So we have a, a five in questing. We are uh, against two threats. So let's see if we want to do anything else. I'm keeping Beravor up if we draw an, an enemy so we can defend. So let's see, we draw. So we go to questing and draw an encounter card, and it is a Goblin Runner, so it has Surge, which is a nasty one. So Goblin Runners comes into play. Then the Surge is Forest Gate. So we are facing five threats, but we have five, so it is a zero. That is okay. Then this enemy engages us. I will defend with the Terror and I will discard one of the Galadrim's greetings to boost my defense up. We'll get one shadow card. It, it is. Uh, if this attack is undefeated, defended, discard an ally you control, but it is not, so that is okay. We don't take any damage, but we don't have anything to hit the Goblin Runner with. Oh yeah, and we will travel to the Forest Gate. I forgot the travel phase, so we'll travel there, and we draw two cards when we travel there. So we get Silver uh, Load Archer and uh, Stand and Fight. And that is that, so we go to the, uh, we ended the combat phase already, so we go to refresh phase, so these already, and we add one threat here, or doom, but that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, uh, so we add resources at the start of the round. Then uh, we'll draw a card. It is uh, Glowine. Then mm, let's see how we want to do this. So first off, I'm playing the Steward of Gondor. I'm using it immediately, so I will get two resources. So I have three. Uh, at this point, I'll use those three to play. Son of Arnor. So 
After Son of Honor and the players choose an enemy card in the staging area, or currently engaged with another player, engage that enemy well. You're already engaged with the Goblin Runner, so that doesn't do a lot, but we have more attack power to defeat those Goblins. Then uh, we have some resources, but nothing to play with those, so we'll just go to questing phase. Uh, in this phase I'll just quest with Eowyn. And uh, uh, we probably will just defend, attack, attack, kill off that. So, uh, let's see. One, two, and four against two, so we're not clearing that yet. So I could, or the, uh, yeah, I could just take that. So we we'll, we won't do anything else. So uh, four against two, and uh, we get goblin. Town scavengers. So, when revealed, discard the top card of each player's deck until the end of the phase. The increased Goblin Town scavengers threat by the total printed cost. So, we discard Son of Arnor, that is 3. So, uh, we are 4 6 against 4. So, unfortunately, that means 2 threat is added to the dial. But it is what it is. This also engages us, which is not nice, so I think I'm just taking the damage and killing of these two. Well, we take a bit of a risk here, so uh, we take... Well, no, no, no points. I'm uh, defending against the runners with this and discarding this. Discarding self preservation and uh, we get the shadow card. It is choose and discard one attachment from the defending character. Well, that sucks. We lose the protector of Lorien, but it still contributes the defense. Then uh, this enemy attacks, I'll just take the damage on to Eowyn. Then uh, we will uh, defeat this with this. We need one more attack to defeat it, so this is defeated. This stays in play. And I think that is our round. We go to refresh phase. Oh yeah, we get the shadow card from that also it doesn't have an effect and then we ready and let's see next turn we can play Celerian Celerian Stone which is a good part to play but that is that round let's go to the next round we add Resources again, and I'll just add a three with uh, by using the steward of Gondor. At some point, we draw a card. Not a protector of Lorien, which is a good draw because we want to really play that. Uh, first off, we'll play Cleowine. Then uh, we will. Lower our threat by six. So we're down to twenty four, which is which will help us later. Then I'll use two from here. Um, play Celerian Stone, and I'll play it on Eowyn. So Eowyn has plus two spirit, which helps us to quest better. And that is all I will play, and uh, we'll go to the questing phase. So 
Erwin will quest for six. And uh, quest for seven. We draw a card. When revealed, each player returns one enemy engaged with them to the staging area. If no enemy was. Okay, so. This goes to the staging area. So we are seven against three, so four. That is enough to defeat this. And we can travel over here. Then uh, this engages us. I will defend with Brevor, uh, and I will attack. Oh yeah, let's see what happens. So it attacks. Uh, no shadow effect. Then we just attack with these two. Defeat it. That is that. We go to ready phase, a refresh phase. I mean, and that is that. We add one threat here, so 25. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add uh, resources again. Again, I'll do the same with the uh, Steward of Condor as an action. Then, now we don't have any enemies, and uh, no, we have an active location, so we don't have any threat on the staging area, so we can. Start questing and advancing this quest. So, first off, I will play this. Um, then we will quest and quest and add one uh, resource here. I'll actually draw two cards. We get the Miner of the Iron Hills and Silver. Archer, so that was uh, uh, we then draw an encounter card, and it is uh, Tangled Grove. Uh, it is an X threat. X is the number of locations staging area, so it's uh, threat one. Travel each player must discard one random card from their hands to travel here. Okay, so we are six seven against. One, so six, so two goes here, and four goes there. We'll travel over here, and uh, each player must discard one random card. So we'll shuffle this. I'll discard this, so we lose the protector of Lorien, and. I'll actually draw a card, so we get uh, uh, Hena, Hena uh River Song, which is a good pull. Uh, nothing else happens, so we'll go to Refresh Phase, and we advance the dial by one, so 26, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources, so I'll do the same with the Steward of Gondor, just so I won't forget. And uh, we'll play uh, this ally, and we'll play this other ally too. We have really good attack power now. And uh, that is all we want to play. Do we have a free cost ally here? We do. I'll actually play uh, Stand and Fight to play another Son of Arnor from our Discord. I think we have pretty good way to defeat uh, an enemy. We still have the Miner of Iron Hills in hand, so not in play yet. But we'll go to questing, we'll quest for two. Actually, before that. And actually, yeah, we'll just quest. So for two, four, uh, eight. And we'll add one here. And we'll draw a card. No, we'll. Quest and 
uh, we'll actually look at the top card here. Okay, so we are getting an enemy. So let's back up. We won't quest that. Okay, so uh, I think that is okay. So six, nine, ten is good enough for me. And we'll flip our encamp card. It is Goblin Runner, so searches. And we'll get when reveal deal two damage to a character you control. Well, that is annoying. Uh, we'll do two damage to somewhere. I'll put it on here. Then uh, that has one threat, so we are uh, six, seven, eight. against one so seven advancements so three goes here four goes there we're one away from advancing this this enemy engages us I will defend with Trevor it takes one damage or we'll get a shadow card uh, attacking enemy gets plus one uh, attack so this goes into back to the staging area and we'll take two damage here. That is not nice. But um, let's see. I just had to check that I can't use the range keyword to attack it because it's not engaged with another player, but I'm still learning the keywords. But yeah, that is everything. So uh, we ready up. and add one threat to the dial so 27 right where we started and that is that round let's go to the next round okay well we'll add some resources again so again i'll add the steward right away we get a card we get gandalf gandalf will be good some points. Check the top card here. So it, it it's spider then. Rest action, search and counter deck and discard power for spider enemy and put it into play, engage with you, discard spider then, then shuffle the encounter deck. I think we'll just quest this. And it adds four, so we really need to quest for this. So uh, we we will play Uh, minor, so iron heals. Then we will keep the uh, Gandalf in hand now. I uh, will quest with these two. And then we'll, que uh, we'll draw a card with this. So we get uh, Grim Resolve. And we will draw two cards with Gravor. So to get these two. So that those will be good when we have the location in play. So that's good. Next turn. Okay, and uh, we'll resolve the questing. So we draw this. So it's a four. So we have five against six, seven. So we add one. Then we can travel here. This advances. Uh, Mirkwood Forest. The goblins trail leads you deeper into the dark forest of Mirkwood. The enemies, uh, the enemy has a significant lead, but the sign of their passing is easy to follow. You may yet overtake them if you press on. Then we have a twelfth uh, progress to go. When revealed, each player searches the encounter deck and discard file for forest location and adds it to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck. This stage cannot be defeated unless at least one copy of Goblin Trail is in victory display. So we 
we will search for a goblin trail because it is a forest location so goblin trail forest so we'll add that also counter deck so we need to defeat that goblin trail then get those threats and then we can advance Okay, so that is added, and this was defeated. No, we traveled there just a minute ago. Okay, and then we have to engage this enemy. So the Miner of Iron Hills defense will get a shadow card, and uh, nothing happens, but the Miner is defeated. Then we will just deal uh, six damage. Uh, four damage is enough, so these archers will defeat this. It has a defense of one, but it's still enough to defeat it. And that is that, so we're ready up. And we will add one threat here, so 28 or might be doom but I'm I'm saying threat because it's <laughs> easier for me to remember but it is what it is so that is that round let's go to the next round we will add resources so again I'll do the sword of condor but immediately and uh, I think I'm playing both of those scouts, adding progress on this. Then I will quest, quest, add one resource here. I will look at the top card just in case. So we are getting doomed when reveal each player must choose either of the threat level I think okay I'll, I'll just raise the threat that's okay so we can uh, quest with this because we're not getting an enemy so uh, 1 2 3 9 10 12 so that is all, so we get this one, get doomed one, then I could just discard the questing character. I'll discard one of these archers. Yeah. So we don't get the extra threat. So, uh, let's see, now we have one. 3, 9, 10, 11 against 3 is 8, so we get 2 here, and 6 on this one, halfway through that, we'll travel over here, so travel, reveal the top card of the encounter deck, we travel here, and it is the eaves of Mirkwood. Uh, when Goblin Trail leaves, play as an exploration explore location, play 6 progress to the current quest, so that is actually pretty good. We'll ready up. And then we add one threat here, so we're at 30, which is okay. And that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add resources, so again I'll do the Sword of Condor, then add one of these two heroes, we draw a card, we get another Gandalf, so let's see, I think I'll just play Gandalf, we could use Grim Resource. Yeah. 
Uh, let's play Gandalf from here. So, uh, at the end of the round, discard Gandalf from play. Response after Gandalf enters play, choose three, draw three cards, deal four damage, or reuse your threat. So I'm uh, reducing my threat to 25. Will quest. So, six, seven, eight, nine. Add one here. Uh, I'll actually draw a card with this, so we get the and so I'm using it to discard, so boosting my questing. So, uh, we are 7, 10, and uh, against 2, I'll check the top card, do we need more? Each player must search, then counter deck and discard a coupling enemy and put it into play, engage with them, that is okay. So we'll just have to be sick, so we'll check coupling enemy that has only two or something. Okay, and we will resolve this. Uh, when revealed, each player must search and cut the deck and discard all for a coupling enemy and put it in the playing gate with them. And. Uh, get this one. Okay. So and it's uh, put it in the playing gates with them so it doesn't get sneak out sneak away. Then uh, we'll deal 6 over here. This goes into the victor display, which will be over here. Or like so. Actually, I'll keep the victory display somewhere over here. No. Just figuring out my new setup how I want to. Well, the victory display will be over here top of the staging area and like so so I don't mix those up then we'll add six here so this advances so this stage cannot be defeated unless at least one copy of the goblin trail is in the victory display and it is so we get the rear guard when revealed First player adds the set aside goblin troop to the staging area. Each other player searches and counter deck and discard pile for a goblin enemy and adds it to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck. So we add this to the staging area and shuffle the encounter deck. That is all because there are no other players. Okay. And then uh, we flip this. The goblins are aware of your pursuit and form a rear guard to confront you while the others retreat to their secret hideaway. You must defeat this troop before you can continue your chase. This stage cannot be defeated while goblin troop is in play. When this stage is defeated, the heroes discover the trail to the goblin secret lair and the players win the game. So we need six progress on this quest and we also need to defeat this goblin troop. And I think we can do that this turn with the help of Gandalf. So, uh, after... Uh, after... The questing will travel here. Then we will play Grim Resolve. Ready every character. And uh, we have another Gandalf in hand. Or, 
next turn. Then we will take these enemies, so we'll engage this voluntarily. These will defend. Uh, first one is against this one. We'll deal the shadow cards. Uh, shadow card number one, nothing. One of these is defeated. Shadow card number two. Uh, choose and exhaust one character you control. This attack was undefeated. Also, deal. So we'll uh, exhaust this character. That doesn't. Mind. We don't mind that. So we need to deal six damage there. So four, and it has a defense of three. So we need to deal nine in total. So four, five, six. 7, 8, and 9. So this is defeated. I'll just place it over here. Well, it goes into the discard, so we have defeated that enemy. And uh, then we need to deal two, 2 damage to this one. So that is also defeated. And that is the combat phase done. We go to refresh phase, so at the end of the round Gandalf leaves us. We'll come back next turn with more, because we have Gandalf in our hand. So we add one threat to the uh, to the dial, and uh, that is it. So that is that round, and let's see if we can win this scenario on the next round. I'll add resources. I'll use the Spirit of Condor. This. Then uh, we will play Gandalf. I'll actually draw the cards. Oh yeah, we draw one card also, which I forgot, so sneak attack. Okay. Then we get another Gandalf, uh, Guard of the Citadel and Erebor Hammersmith, so I'll play the Hammersmiths. And I will play the guard. Just to max out my uh, hand. So, um, that is the planning phase, so we'll go to the questing phase, and I will quest for uh, six. 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, just add one here with the ability of third threat, and uh, say 18, so we need 8 to pass this so uh, we get a great spider, which won't stop us, so we have two here, 16 left, so we overquest this by a long shot, so it's like so, so, well, it doesn't matter. We uh, managed to quest this and win the scenario, so that went pretty well, uh, once I got control of the board, and uh, enough allies into the t onto the table. Uh, I think this was a breeze to go through with this deck, and Gandalf surely helps by coming into play twice. So, uh, hope you guys like this playthrough. Uh, look forward to the next scenario later on. I will use this same deck to play the second scenario in this um, The Dark of Mirkwood box. So, Thanks for watching and until next time.